I don't sleep enough without you And I can't eat enough without you If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Don't like sneaky shit that you do Goedemorgen, ik heb weer een random what I eat in a day. Ik begon met een gember thee en een gember shirtje even lekker op de lege maag. En toen nam ik een power breakfast. Het was Griekse yoghurt met wat granola en fruit. Heel erg lekker en toen ging ik naar de sportschool toe. Ik had een uur gereden naar de sportschool toe, want ik kwam vanuit Rotterdam. Dus ik had niet echt heel veel energie. Dus ik nam even deze energy drink en hij was best lekker moet ik zeggen. Ik vond hem in mijn kamer, ik heb geen idee waar die van is. En na het sporten nam ik deze bear bell. Eigenlijk altijd neem ik wel een bear bell. En dit was toevallig degene die in mijn tas zat. En dit is een reminder om genoeg water te drinken. Rond 4 uur dacht ik, oh shit, ik heb nog helemaal niet geluncht. Dus ik had wat pannenkoekjes met wat skeer daarop. Met witte chocola van boos, speldvlokken, banaan, chia zaad en schuddebuikjes. En toen dacht ik, oh ik kan deze chocola echt niet laten staan. Dus ik heb één stukje genomen en die heb ik even opgegeten. En ik had nog helemaal geen groente op vandaag. Dus ik had echt vier van deze snackkomkommertjes. Want ik dacht, ik moet wel nog eventjes mijn groenten binnenkrijgen. Niet helemaal gelukt, want mijn avondeten was namelijk proteïne en pannenkoeken. Echt wel super gezond en um, heel erg lekker. Dit was alles wat we erop konden doen. En ik denk dat ik zo'n ja, 6, 7, maar het waren wel echt kleine pannenkoekjes op heb gegeten. Met dit als topping. En eentje met Nutella. En toen kwam ik op een verjaardag. En daar zag ik al deze nootjes staan op elke tafel. Dus daar zou ik wel wat van meesnoepen. Ik ben daar namelijk nog steeds op dit moment. Maar uh, dit was... What I ate at the fair. Corn dog. Pickle ranch pizza. Fried Oreos. Lemonade. Hi guys, let me show you what I eat when I'm trying to manage my eczema flare-up. So I take my thyroid medication, then a hot cup of tea, no sugar, my probiotic, and then for breakfast I have this heavy metal detox smoothie. It just kind of helps your liver get rid of all the toxins. And then I snack on some fruit, some strawberries and blueberries today, and then take all my supplements for the day. After that, lunchtime rolls around, so I whip myself up a big salad with some tuna, quinoa, and a bunch of veggies. I always crave something sweet, so I did some dried mango and a poppy soda after. Don't forget your water. Then I had some dinner, and after dinner, I had some fruit and some chips and my tea. I'm at McDonald's in the morning, which means we're doing McDonald's breakfast combo. We haven't done McDonald's breakfast combo in forever, and I'm so ready look at this ice water y'all have been here before you know the combo egg and cheese biscuit two hash browns but the rule is sometimes three always two never one i cannot imagine being satisfied by one hash brown like what i need to take off this jacket like i need freedom strawberry preserve on one side and just before we even get into this yes i'm putting strawberry and ketchup on the same sandwich let's just get that out the way i like to mix my flavors i like to bring the egg over i forgot to do round egg three quarters pretty much of your hash brown Mm. Then cut you up and then we close her up. Then you have the perfect egg and cheese and hash brown sandwich. Mmm. Y'all, that's good. Mmm. Before I even get a sip of the fry bread, I need a sip of the water because you take a bite of a biscuit and you just feel like you've never had water in your life. I literally uh. felt that flow through my chest. I feel so good. Oh, yes. Mm. I ordered some Thai tea mix off Amazon because one of y'all tagged me in a video of somebody who has some Thai tea mix. It was a bag for seven dollars. I'm like, please, I'm making it. I'm making it myself. Ooh, it's like catching the sunlight. It looks extra crispy. Mmm, I heard the crunch of that. Mmm, 
Mm. Nothing is gonna top McDonald's breakfast for me. Chick-fil-A, cool. I've had a chicken biscuit. Sometimes the textures be weird. Wendy's, yeah, I, I like their hash browns too. It's just really not giving the same way that a McDonald's breakfast is gonna give, period. <laughs> What I eat in a day. I haven't had a Greg's coffee in years, but it was all right. For breakfast, I had these chicken things from Greg's and this bacon and cheese turnover. Absolutely gorgeous. Then for dinner, I went over Leah's parents. I love coming here for dinner. It's just wholesome vibes. These Yorkies were homemade and Martha loved them. Is my darling Leah pouring me a drink. For dessert, we were spoiled for choice. A fit of rolls, Jaffa cake cake and tiramisu. I tried them all, but the fit of rolls were my fave. If you haven't tried cheese on rice, you can't even comment on it until you've tried it it is stunning and so was this chili a lot of you have been asking what do i eat in a day as a medical student training as a hybrid athlete and currently in marathon prep so let's get into it and let's not fall off the roof in the process multivitamins vitamin c and a chondritin glucosamine and turmeric joint complex those are my morning supplements which i take on an empty stomach whilst rehydrating with an electrolyte drink i don't usually eat in the mornings i usually fast but i was packaged to have a bowl of special k whilst doing some past paper questions before placement during placement i don't eat i'll just have a coffee and stay rehydrated trying to get at least one to 1.5 leaders on me. Bumped into one of the boys on the way home from placement and getting his miles in for marathon prep as well. This is my go-to fuel for the run, so a good carb source, peanut butter, banana and honey. I really wasn't in the mood to run today, so I had a caffeine tablet before the run too to perk me up. Always keeping the pre-run meal very light but with high carbs. Stretched a little before heading out, grabbed the gel and thank god I did because I accidentally ran my first half marathon today. Yeah, this is where you're going to say this video doesn't make much sense. I only had six miles on my plan, but I was in such a good headspace and in such a lovely rhythm that I just decided to keep going and put in the miles. I ended up running it in 1 hour 44, 8 minute miles. Super beat up after the run, so I grabbed myself a celebratory rocky road. And then it was time to meal prep. So on tonight's meal prep menu, we got tofu, chorizo, red pepper, spring onion, red onion, reduced fat, red pesto, pasta. Super high carb, high protein recovery meal. After my really long, unexpected run, I was in such a calorie deficit that I finished off two portions of this meal. I then topped that off with a bag of chocolate buttons because you gotta reward yourself and that's a wrap pa, a, pa, pa, a. but at all times happy valentine's i had the most questionable breakfast i was just craving a bread roll so i had one while i was walking around the shops and then for my second breakfast of the day it's got to be a corned beef pasty don't be nasty smash the pasty don't worry darling i did if you've been following me for a while you'll know how long i've been trying to get hold of a birthday cake for you it's not my birthday but it feels like it is the excitement the joy and the pure love i feel right now pardon the pun is indescribable and oh my god, this is by far the nicest thing that's ever been in this gob. Me and Leah's having steak night for tea to celebrate Valentine's. If you want to see how I cooked it, it's in my last video. Jesus Christ, I look like I've got a wide on you. The dinner was 10 out of 10. I think I've outdone myself. I even cooked the potatoes in Prosecco. No wonder I feel tipsy. Don't worry if you're spending Valentine's alone this year. Just think about all that money you've saved. And no date night is complete without a McDonald's. We finished off the night with a large Big Mac each. And I know the real way to Leah's heart. It's cheese melt dippers. So we did share a box. I have put up a little video as a Valentine's special, just in case you're feeling lonely and you want some company. Love you so, ta-da! What I eat in a day, edisi anak kos, part 76. Halo semuanya, jadi untuk sarapannya, kali ini aku cuma makan buah naga. Nah, karena mager banget motongin buahnya, jadi aku makan langsung gini. Tapi jujur, sebenarnya kayak gini tuh malah tambah nikmat, tapi ya agak kurang sopan sih sebenarnya. Nah, kalau rasa buah naganya ini manis dan juga ada sensasi dingin ya, karena habis masuk kulkas. Jadi ini seger banget, apalagi makannya di pagi hari. Jadi rating dari aku, 10 per 10 Oke untuk makan siangnya Aku masak Dan itu ada kubis Telur dan juga Sayur apa gitu Untuk rasanya tuh sebenarnya udah nikmat Cuma Karena gak ada sambal tuh Jadi kurang gitu Tapi gawat Kalau misalnya ada sambal Itu bisa nambah Jadi ya udah gini aja Udah enak Jadi rating dari aku 8,5 per 10 Oke selanjutnya Aku makan mochi Nah untuk harga mochinya Ini cuma 25.000 Udah dapet 4 varian rasa Dan jujur menurut aku Itu bener-bener enak banget Ya walaupun kulit mochi Mochinya menurut aku lebih tebel dari biasanya gitu Tapi jujur isian dalamnya tuh bener-bener enak banget Apalagi yang coklat ini kombinasi antara rasa coklat dan juga stroberinya tuh bener-bener pas dan balance banget Jadi rating dari aku 10 per 10 Nah kalau yang pink ini pakai cream cheese dan itu bener-bener enak banget Tapi aku yang pencinta coklat pastinya lebih suka yang coklat Jadi rating dari aku 8 per 10 Oke okay, selanjutnya sore-sore aku makan siomay Dan asal kalian tahu ini harga siomaynya berapa? Harganya 12.000 ribu gak pakai telur Dan untuk rasa Rasanya 
kayaknya menurut aku ini kemanisan jadi rating dari aku 7 per 10 sampai di sini aja bye bye why in a day valentine's day edition look how cute my mother is this is what she left me in the morning the only way to start off your morning on valentine's day is to have heart shaped crumpets how bloody cute are they i made myself an iced coffee how stunning is this cut and then branston pickles sent me these cheesy pickle bites i also got sent an air fryer from b&m so let me know if you want to see me do some air fryer stuff these cheesy pickle bites were like mini toasties they were absolutely gorgeous i ordered six of those extreme sour pickles i love them so much me and my sister had a girly girly valentine's night we do it every year and we ordered a domino <laughs> Obviously, I had to throw away the garlic and herb dip. The cheeseburger pizza from Domi's has my heart. The pickles are just stunning. And I had some chicken kickers. They're my fave. Then I got this cute little Valentine's gingerbread heart kit from Morrison's. So I did the one side and then my sister did the other. It says te amo and cariti, which is love you in Spanish and Welsh. And we had our cutesy peacocks PJs on. What a stunning Valentine. I was so good at it. Here's another recipe that's helped me keep off the 150 pounds I lost. I start with my crock pot liner so I don't have a mess. Add two pounds of chicken. Then you're gonna add a half a cup of chicken broth. Mix it up with a packet of ranch seasoning. Pour that over the chicken and then put it in the crock pot. I did high for four hours. You can do low for eight. It's gonna be so tender when it comes out that you're gonna be able to pull it apart with a fork. Then I threw in a block of cream cheese and some shredded cheddar cheese. Let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes until it melts. Mix it up and it's so good. Why in a day? Severely, extremely hungover edition. This is one of the worst hangovers I've had in ages. So I had to have 20 nugs for breakfast. I went over Corey and Leo's for tea and look at this spread. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't normally like tomato pizza, but I really like that one. Someone tell me why I was craving a ham sandwich when I got home. So random. These yogs are stunning. Hi, my name is Bella and this is what I ate today. So I started off the morning with a ginger shot and then I made myself an iced matcha latte. I had two Brazil nuts for selenium and then I had this protein chia pudding with a bunch of toppings and I met my best friend at a cafe. I had a banana oat muffin and a turmeric latte. I came home for lunch and I had this protein shake, also snacked on this protein bar and some blueberries, had this energy shot. And as my midday snack, I had a Fuji apple and another ice matcha latte. This was my dinner. It was a brown rice and tofu bowl with mango on top. And then I had cereal and chocolate for dessert.